Today, me and my friend Gold are gonna have a building competition to see who can build the best maze. But what he doesn't know is that I'm gonna make my maze a super OP rainbow maze. Oh, Gold, I'm coming down. Where are you? Gold, where are you? Uh, oh, there you are. I was playing Minecraft, Llama. Oh my gosh, were you in that village over there stealing all of the bread from those villagers? No, I the bread. Yeah, with what? From the wheat that you stole from those poor villagers? They're not poor, they're rich! Oh my gosh, Gold, whatever you say. Alright, well, are you ready to have this super awesome maze building competition? Yeah, I am, Llama! Alright, well, and you'll be happy to know that I'm actually not even gonna be cheating, so I'm gonna go over to my side, and you can go over to your side, and we can go ahead and start building our mazes! If you're not cheating, why'd you have to say you are? Oh, uh, what? Oh my gosh, Gold, you should no, I would never cheat when I say I'm not gonna cheat. Mm, come here, llama. Okay, yeah, what is it? Something smells a bit fishy. Yeah, it's all this puffer fish you throw on the ground. Silly. No, you're the one who smells fishy. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm going to my side, and you can go ahead and go over to your side, and we can start building our super awesome mazes. Okay, llama. All right, and in order to make our maze super rainbow, we're gonna need all of the colors of the rainbow in concrete. So we need red concrete, orange concrete, yellow, then green, then blue, and purple. All right, and you know what? I'm thinking we divide up our maze into six sections, one for the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And each section that gold completes, it's gonna get even harder. So let's go ahead and first make our red section just like this with slash slash set red concrete. And then we can do that for all of the rest of the walls. Almost done and perfect. So now let me go ahead and set this floor like this. Whoa, oh my gosh, it's a super cool red box. All right, and now if we select this entire area and then run the command slash slash copy, we can actually go ahead and make our next room. So let me go ahead and stand right here and do slash slash base. And there we go. But you might notice that all of it is still red when we need it to be yellow. However, if we go ahead and select that wall right there, and then we come all the way over here and select this wall over here, we can actually replace all this red concrete with orange concrete. Go ahead and set the floor like that. And now let me go ahead and do the rest of the floor. So we need to do yellow next. Boom, boom, boom. And finally, boom. And oh my gosh, this maze is gonna be so massive. All right, so now that we have the entire outline of our maze built, I say we go ahead and build the door. So let's go ahead and break these two blocks like this. So let's go ahead and place two iron doors like that. But what Gold won't know is that he's gonna have to find the super secret lever. So let me go ahead and grab this lever right here and place it right there and place it right there. And whenever you touch any of these blocks, then the doors will open. And oh my gosh, you can even open them from the inside too. But I bet Gold will never figure out how to even get inside the maze. And for this first section of the maze, I say we make the walls really wide and really tall. All right, and since this is the first section of the maze, I say we make it super easy so that Gold has no idea what's gonna hit him in the final room. So let's go ahead and finish up the rest of this maze just like this. Just gotta do a few more commands like this. All right, and there we go. Now we have the entire first room of the first maze set up. And I'm thinking we have the entrance to the next part of the maze right here. But now, instead of just doing a normal maze, I say we start to put in a bunch of traps for gold. So just to run you through what we have so far, he'll need to walk in this room like this and then fly all the way over here in order to get into the next room of the maze. And oh my gosh, this orange room is so massive. Massive. But you know what? I say we go ahead and make a few pitfall traps for him. So if we go ahead and place these ghost blocks just like this, whenever Gold walks into the room, he's just gonna fall through this trap. And what's gonna be even better is that he's gonna be super freaked out by all of this fake lava. But of course, he'll just be able to get out using this ladder just like this. Perfect. And you know what? In this first hallway, I say we make a couple more pitfall traps just like that first one. So one right there and one right there. So let me go ahead and grab my ghost blocks just like this and oh my gosh he's definitely gonna fall in at least one of them so we'll probably fall in this one right there and then he might even fall in one of these oh my gosh this is super sneaky but instead of fake lava
lava in this one, I say we have super fake water, which will actually act like lava whenever you fall in it. So we'll actually start to take damage. All right, and there we go. Now we have the first hallway of that maze done. So now let me go ahead and set some more walls in here, just like that, perfect. And I'm thinking since we just tested him with the fake water and the fake lava, we make a couple of moats, one going this way with fake water and one going the other way with fake lava. So now let me go ahead and fill in the rest of this pool with fake water just like this and the rest of this pool in with some super fake lava and now let me go ahead and set these walls like this orange concrete perfect and now we'll make a super secret fake left turn over here just so that when you're standing right over here it does it look like a complete dead end? And of course, we'll do the same over here, but instead of it being a dead end, it'll lead to the rest of the orange section of the maze. So let me go ahead and fill this up just like this. Perfect. All right, and now I think I'm almost done with the actual part of this maze. Almost done, and there we go. And you know what? This maze is actually starting to get pretty difficult. I mean, this first room is gonna be super easy for gold, obviously, but this second room is definitely gonna be a bit more of a challenge. So once gold gets to the end of the maze right here, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that he can get into the next room. But instead of giving him the door like we did last time, I'm gonna put a sign on the wall right here that says, there's a secret lever on the wall somewhere. So now if we go ahead and grab these fake levers like this, and then these secret iron doors like that, Gold will have absolutely no idea where on this wall the lever is. So eventually he'll probably either right click right there or right there, which will open up one one of the two iron doors. And once he does that, he'll be in our next yellow room. Which, you know, it's in fact, I'm thinking we go ahead and clear this one out all the way. So let me go and mine all the way down to bedrock, just like that. And then do slash slash set air. Oh my gosh, this is a crazy hole now. And then of course set all this to yellow concrete, just like this. Perfect. But you might be wondering, um, Llama, how in the world is gold supposed to get from right here to all the way on the other side of the wall? Well, if we go ahead and right click this block right here and then come all the way across the wall like this and then right click that we could actually set this entire floor to tnt and then right up Above it, we could set this floor to sand. And then on top of that sand, we could set all of this to pressure plates. Boom. Oh my gosh, this room is gonna be super crazy. So once gold gets inside of here, he's actually gonna have to make a run for it across the entire room. And if he stops at any point, the entire floor will just break below him. So let me go ahead and place that TNT back just like this. And then he'll have to go all the way over here and then find this door right here. Boom, perfect. So now let's go and set this one as well. Perfect. But you know what? I say the fun with the TNT run doesn't have to stop there. If we once again go ahead and dig all the way down to bedrock just like this and then go ahead and set this entire thing to air and then do exactly what we just did. Almost done and perfect. So let's go and set all of this to TNT and then all of this to sand just like that and then all of this to pressure plates. But now instead of having him run from one side of the room to the other, he's actually going to have to complete a maze while running across these pressure plates. So let's go ahead and set our first walls like this. And let's go ahead and build our maze. Oh my gosh, this maze is already looking super hard. There's no way that gold completes this one. Oh my gosh, this is literally so crazy. And oh my gosh, we almost have one side of the entire room done. All right, did I think our maze is almost complete. Just need a few more walls just like this. Ah! Oh my gosh, I fell through. Oh my gosh, that was almost really bad. What if the entire floor fell through? All right, Dan, perfect. I think the green part of the maze is finally done. So the correct path is once gold gets all the way from one side of the yellow maze to the other, he's gonna have to take an immediate right like this and then go right again and then go left and then go left again and then come all the way over here right to this entrance right here. And you know what? We'll make it four blocks wide just in in case he decides he wants to fall through right before he crosses it. All right, then for the blue section of the maze, instead of having him run on TNT that just falls to the void, I say we go ahead and grab something from the security craft mod, like these landmines and these bouncing beddies. And what these bouncing beddies allow you to do is I can access it with my remote control access tool and then I can detonate it just like that. And oh my gosh, this is such a mess now. And I say we go ahead and make a maze out of all of these Things. All right, so now we can go ahead and start setting our walls, but instead of walls, 
pearls are actually gonna be mine. But what Gold won't know is that this part of the maze is actually gonna be completely impossible. So he's gonna actually have to jump over some of these mines in order to get to the exit. All right, almost got this maze done. Just gotta add a few more touches. All right, there we go. And now that we have our entire maze of explosives done, let me go ahead and place some of these bouncing bennies around that we can control using our mine remote control access tool. So I'll place one right there and there and there. There, and there, and one right over here. All right, so now that our entire base is complete, I say we come over here and then make another door. Just like this, and perfect. And as you can see, there's actually not even a real path to get to this door, but he's gonna have to figure out that he's gonna need to jump over some mines to do it. All right, and for the final part of the maze, I don't even think we need to do a maze. I say we have gold fight a final boss. So let me go ahead and place down all this redstone like this that will lead all the way over to a dispenser and all of that redstone will run into this command block right here that's gonna summon the ender dragon and now of course we don't want gold fighting the ender dragon without any sort of gear or anything since gold is his favorite armor we're gonna get him all of this golden armor so let's go ahead and give this armor on breaking three and of course protection four give him two sets like that and then we'll give him a netherite sword with sharpness five and perfect and you know what we'll even give him two stacks of gold golden apples. You know what? That should be pretty good enough. And then once he's done defeating the ender dragon, he can come all the way over here and exit the maze, which he'll be rewarded with a bunch of golden blocks. And boom. Perfect. And there we go. Our entire maze is complete. Oh, gold. Are you ready over there? Yeah, I am, llama. All right, gold. Well, do you want me to go ahead and go over to your side and look at your maze first? Oh, uh, obviously. All right, gold. And I'm coming around. Oh my gosh, Gert. Oh my gosh, Gold, did you make your entire maze out of dirt? Oh, yeah, but it's the inside that counts. Oh my gosh, you know what? Okay, Gold. Oh, wait, what the heck? What is this? The retina scanners. You gotta make sure you're in survival mode, though, Llama. Okay, then give me a second. Oh my gosh, Gold, wait. Oh no, is this fence parkour? This is the worst kind of parkour. I know, I knew it was your favorite. That's why I added it. What? Are you kidding me? Fence parkour is the worst parkour. Well, left or right? Well, clearly right is right. So let me go ahead and go this way. Exit ahead. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, Gold. I completed your maze. Wait, what? No! Gold, what the heck? <laughs> I got you, Lama. Oh my gosh, you did get me. You know what? Fine. I'm going left. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Wait, what the heck? Um, Gold, how am I supposed to get out of here? Well, if you should read the signs. Oh, behind the sign? What the heck? Oh my gosh, a personal shrinking device. Oh my gosh, of course. Let me go and open this door and it shrink down like that. Perfect. All right, Gold. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and complete your super tiny maze. All right, let's see how far can I get? I think I'm almost... Oh my gosh, Gold. That was like the easiest maze ever. Yeah, just a little bit. Bigify yourself back to normal. All right, perfect. <gasps> um, Gold? What the heck do you want me to do here? Ah, uh, well, what do you want to do? Oh, skip past this wither. Boop. Ah, what the heck? Oh gosh, I really hope I don't die. Whee! Well, Gold, I think I made it out of the maze. Yeah, you did, Llama. All right, Gold. Well, I'm thinking I give your maze mm, a 6 out of 10. Only a 6 out of 10? Yeah. Why so low? Well, because it was made out of dirt and it was super short, obviously. All right, Gold. Well, are you ready to try out my maze? Yeah, I am, Llama. All right, then come on over here and check out my maze. Whoa, Llama, this looks really lame. What? What do you mean? It's a super giant rainbow maze. Well, how are you even supposed to get in? Well, there's a secret lever that you kind of have to find. Just like... Oh, wait, what? Uh, Gold, how did you find that already? I just clicked. Oh, my gosh, Gold. You're super smart, I guess. All right, well, you got to get into survival mode. Well, Gold, have fun with the maze. Oh, my gosh. You're already going the complete wrong way. Shut up, Llama. I don't need to hear it. Okay, Gold. Whatever, whatever. Hmm. If I was Llama, where would I build the exit? Oh my gosh, Gold, you're literally going everywhere but the exit. Oh, I think he's about to find it. Perfect. Wait, why is there a bed here? So that you can set your spawn just in case you die. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh, did you get stuck down there? Why didn't he kill me? Well, because it's fake lava and I didn't want to kill you just yet, obviously. Ah, I'm on fire. 
Wait, what? How did you get on fire? What the heck? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Uh, just, uh, well, I would say jump in the water, but oh my gosh. Uh, Wait, Gold, what the heck? Did you die in there? Oh, thank gosh, you're back. Uh, what the heck happened? I'm so scared. Well, I think you fell into one of my pits with fake lava. What do you mean, one of your pits? Oh, uh, well, I mean, there was another pit, but I think you should be fine now. Wait, what? Why are you going into that lava? Because if the water hurts me, I don't want to go in the water, and the lava seems to be fine. Oh my gosh, you're actually right on that one. Well, good luck with the rest of the maze, because the rest of the orange part of the maze is actually just a regular old normal maze. Oh, this is so lame, Llama. What? Oh my gosh. Well, this next part definitely is not lame, so go ahead and set your spot. Oh my gosh. Wait, you totally found the door immediately. All right, Gold. Well, you should, uh, you know, go ahead and have fun. Oh my gosh, he's going, he's going, he's going. Um, Gold, wait, where the heck are you going? The exit isn't that way. You said to have fun. Oh my gosh, are you having fun right now or something? Yeah. All right, well, good luck trying not to die or whatever. Oh my goodness, Gold, are you just going in figure eights now or something? Come on, get to the exit quick. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> gotcha, Gold, gotcha. I guess I was just having too much fun, Mama. I guess you were. All right, well, good luck. Oh my gosh, you're almost at the end. Perfect. I made it, Mama. All right, and now you have to do that again, but now there's a maze involved. Wait, now there's one with the maze. Okay, I definitely got this one. Okay, Gold. Well, good luck. Oh, gosh. Don't cut yourself off there. Oh, boy. I mean, you're kind of close to the exit, but, like, not really because it's on the other side of that wall. Wait! Why would you tell me that? Well, you have to figure out a way to get to the other side of that wall, obviously. Don't worry, Llama. I'm a pro at TNT spleef. Oh, my gosh. You do look like a pro right now. All right, Gold. Well, good luck. Oh, gosh. He's almost there, but not really because I was totally lying. Yeah, that was just a little tiny hole in the wall. That's my bad. I didn't even realize that was there. All right, Gold, good luck finding the exit. I've got to find it eventually, Llama. And in this maze, I can tell where I have and haven't been. Oh my gosh, you're actually... Oh my gosh, you fell. No, I lied. I can't believe that happened. All right, let's see. Is that going to lead him somewhere good? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Gold, are you ever going to make it out of here. This is taking you forever. You're taking forever. What? I'm not even the one doing the maze. You're the one doing the maze, clearly. Oh, well, it's not my fault you built a bad maze. What? You're just having a hard time solving it. That's just because you had a hard time building it. Well, I think that you've gone almost everywhere in the maze except for the exit, so you're clearly not gonna maze it. Well, I made it. Oh, yeah. I guess you did. Hmm. Do these explode, Llama? Um, yeah, they actually do explode. So, oh my gosh! Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Oh my <laughs> gosh, the entire maze is exploding and there's so much sand flying everywhere. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Oh my gosh, I don't think you were supposed to step on those. Uh, all right, well, while it's raining sand, I guess I'll just go ahead and TP you back here. Boop, there you go. Well, that was an easy room. Oh my gosh, go look behind you. There's nothing there. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly, there's literally nothing there because you blew it all up. Oh, uh, you're just trying to play a prank on me, Llama. Oh my gosh. Gosh, wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh, it totally did spawn the Ender Dragon in the right place. Hold on. Wait, what do you mean, Ender Dragon? Uh, nothing. I just beat this thing. Wait, what? Why did it just leave? Come on, get it. Well, um, I don't even need to fight the Ender Dragon because the exit's right over here. What? No, you need to fight the Ender Dragon. Come on, get him. Get him, Ender Dragon. Oh, I'll just go to the exit then. No, you're never getting to the exit. All right, you know what? That's it. I'm going to spawn the Wither. What? No, don't do that. Oh my gosh, get him! Oh wait, no, no, no! Come on, Wither, get him! Oh boy, it's about to blow! Oh my gosh, all the gold blocks! Get the gold blocks, gold! Oh my gosh, protect them from the Wither! Oh my gosh, Llama, come on! Oh my gosh, gold, you're actually starting to do some real damage! The Wither's almost at half health, keep going! Come on, come on, come on! Oh my gosh, Gold, it's entering its second phase. I don't know if you're gonna be able to use your bow on it. Come on, Gold, get it with your sword. Come on, come on, come on. Oh gosh, you're almost there. And I'm almost dead. No, don't die, Gold, don't die. You got this. Come on. Almost there. No way, you did it. I did it. Woo! 
Oh my gosh, wasn't that like the coolest maze of all time? Yeah, it was kind of cool. The Ender Dragon is kind of destroying the village. Oh my gosh, it kind of is. Oh well, I guess. Yeah, not our problem. <laughs> yeah, not our problem. Let's go. So, Gold, what do you rate my maze? Mm. Two out of ten. What? Two out of ten. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Fine. You won. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. And click on the video on screen to watch more. Woo! Woo!